Alright, so. Strategy. Spam swords. No, I'm not actually joking. That's my current strategy here. So basically, these guys can fucking melt your defenses. I'm not even joking. No, I mean, I basically ambushed him with three of them, and he still got killing. And now there are two of them coming over here. So let's just go here. You may wonder why I'm not spending any money on the miners, particularly when I've done that on last round. But that's because you get like quite... I think that's like two of them laid over each other because of the different shading. I'll have to keep a, an eye on that, but yeah. Basically the game, yeah, that's two laid on top of each other. But yeah, basically the way that they're basically arranged, yeah, they can... Okay. So yeah, you know, you get the point of this larger and larger range of these fuckers which you have to survive. I... I mean, I wanna complain like... Oh, this is too easy, what the fuck are you doing? Now, this is where we fall back. And hopefully... We should have enough health to survive. If not, and we don't. Right. Here's where the cuts begin. Yeah, let's just try this little strategy. Everyone gets retreated, and we just focus on getting a lot of archers because we're getting a bit of money at a time. Whether or not that's enough money to sustain us is anyone's guess. But right now, these guys will be approaching a lot slower than usual and then um, that should give us enough time to get the money that we need? Question mark. And hopefully they do actually do enough damage to kill all of them. Alright, that killed one of them. Yeah, this strategy is probably gonna fail, but you know. We can always hope. <laughs> the most interesting way to play. AKA, the wrong way to play. I think the next wave is gonna appear pretty soon. Or do they appear when they die? That's actually something I've never tested. Let's just test it now. Yeah, they're not dead yet, so let's just keep over here. Yeah, another another unit. Yeah, next wave still ain't here. Yeah, they're getting shot like heck. Still not here. So yeah, that's definitely slowing down the range. It's actually really interesting. And there we go, we've managed to kill like... Is that two of them? Yeah, that's only two of them. But hey, killing two, like the next ones are gonna have four. That would be... This could actually be a viable strategy if it is, that's hilarious. Alright. On to about the game itself, so you know the part about the the different nations worshipping their their weapons like a religion because you know it helps them win wars and shit. Come on, can I get an extra archer in the supply please? That'd really help right now. There we go. They are all right here, just pelting them with arrows. And then yeah, another guy. Oh yeah, anyway. So because of that, the difficulty kind of climbs in like a little bit of a linear way, you know, introducing each of the units in progressive cost. Because, you know, they're going to be the more power. Wow, that actually fucking worked. 
That actually fucking worked. Now I think I might have skipped one of the raves by holding off. That actually fucking worked. But yeah, max income now. So I saved the game. So we went from fighting savages, which we were trespassing on their lands and absolutely destroying them with the power of Archidorans, to sword raves. So yeah, part three, I guess.